I'm starting with Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer and I'm going to put that all over my eyelids from lash line to brow. And then also I'm going to go under my eyes since this is going to be a smoky eye look. I want the eyeshadow to stick down there as well. Now I'm taking this middle shade from my Morphe 35B palette and I'm just going to apply that with my ring finger all over my lids. Taking ColourPop's Mooning, which is a shimmery bronze, and my Morphe 330 brush, I'm going to go in the crease and just windshield back and forth. You're going to have to do a lot of blending with this look. And this color actually turned out kind of more gray than it did bronze, but it's still really pretty because in the movies they ended up doing blue and gray for Ravenclaw instead of bronze and gray. So it's half and half. And just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, buffing it out. And now I'm going to go back in with that same middle shade from my Morphe palette and just lighten up the center of the eyelid. This is where I'm going to end up applying the blue color. And with my clean Morphe M200 brush, I'm going to go back and forth in the crease and buff out any harsh lines. And taking ColourPop's Baby Tea, I'm going to use my fingers to apply that color to the center of my lid. This is a darker, more navy blue color. And I'm just going to keep shaping this color with my pointer finger. and wiping off any fallout, and then going back in with my Morphe 200 brush to buff out. And now I'm going to take this really pretty brighter blue from ColourPop called Luckfully, and just apply that on top of the darker blue, just in the center of the lid. This is such a pretty color, and the formula of their Super Shock shadows, and blushes for that matter, are so soft and spongy. They're fun to work with, and best applied using your fingers anyway. Buffing out again with my Morphe 200 brush. Going in with a lash curler before I tight line using Smashbox liquid liner in jet black. This is just to fill in any gaps before I put on my lashes. I'm going to do a thin coat with my Pure Minerals Big Look Mascara. Before applying my Lena lashes in the Style Sierra. These are nice, you can wear them for up to 25 to 30 times if you take care of them. In which school book does Hermione read that the ceiling of the Great Hall is bewitched to look like the night sky? The answer is... Hogwarts history! And using my go-to Laura Geller Spackle Treatment Even Tone Primer, I'm going to apply that all over my face. 
before going in with my green naked skin concealer and just dotting that over my pimples or any redness that I have. And buffing that concealer out before I go into my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in Neutral Medium over the same spots and then also under my eyes. And I'm going to use my ring finger to buff this concealer out as well. Taking my go-to brush from Morphe in M439 and I'm going to buff out this Beauty Counter Tint Skin Concealer in the shade Linen. This is my Real Techniques brush, not sure of the number, but I'm going to use that to apply my Laura Mercier Universal Translucent Powder all over my face before I go in to do any contouring. I'm going to apply the shade Havana from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit with my IT Cosmetics 104 brush. Now I'm just buffing out the contour with my foundation brush for a softer look. And then going back out with my contour brush to sharpen my cheekbones. I'm going to mix these two blush shades from the Sephora Ombre Obsession palette and apply them with the same Real Techniques brush that I used to apply the translucent powder. Taking my Morphe M113 brush with my broken Kat Von D Thunderstruck eyeshadow, I'm going to highlight underneath my brows and I'm also going to pop this on the inner corners of my eyes. Today I'm going to use Brow Wiz from Anastasia in the shade Ebony. Next question. Who opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years before Harry's second year at Hogwarts? Tom Riddle. Duh. Using my Morphe M222 brush, I'm going to go under my eyes to give it a more smoky eye. First applying the bronze color and then we'll go back over it with the darker blue color.
Baby Wings from Smashbox Liquid Liner. And I'm gonna highlight using my Morphe 310 brush with my also broken ColourPop highlighter in the shade Smokin' Whistles. I'm lining my waterline with Bare Minerals Round the Clock Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade 9pm. This is the perfect darker brown eyeliner. And I just picked this lip balm up from Whole Foods because it smelled really good, but you can use any lip balm before you go in to apply a liquid lip stain. And I'm using Trust Issues from Anastasia. Beverly Hills. You like my Raven Claw look. Since the 4th of July is over, it's now time for the real holiday, which is Harry Potter's birthday on July 31st. So, in honor of that, and also in honor of the new book coming out and all these new Harry Potter items appearing, um, I thought it'd be fun to do house inspired makeup. So, obviously, this video is about Raven Claw's makeup, which their colors are blue and bronze and I, of course, use ColourPop. So I will link all the products below and then on my website at www.ambroselandmakeup.com. Um, you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll link those below. Next week's video, I think, will be Hufflepuff. This is Ravenclaw.